So we're going to go to variations, custom variation, and choose insert add offset center line and double click. We're going to be adding this in a, just a short chainage range from 100 to 200. The software will automatically apply a prefix for you on the new code that it will add. So in this case, if we're going to the left hand side with an offset to the left, it will add L. If we go to the right, it will add an R. You can put in whatever your code you want in here. However, the software will put in the prefix for you. You then have the decision as to whether or not you'd like the offset control or width control to be applied by using the position of an alignment, a polyline or an offset. So we'll use set offset and all we need to do is just look at the values down here. So a chainage 100 will be starting with an offset of 1. Now it's important that if we put a positive value, we know that that value will be going to the right of the center line. If we put a negative value, that offset will go to the left of the current center line. So we're going to be offsetting at chainage 100 with an offset of 1. And by the time we get to chainage 200, we'll also be using an offset of 1. The next part of the form is all about the elevation control. So what we're going to do is extend the crossfall. So if we're going off to the right hand side, what will happen is it will extend the crossfall from the left. So this minus 3% will be projected across and we'll have an adjustment on the right side crossfall here on this section. Let's click on add update. Now you can see that we've also um, lost some subgrade in there, but we will get that back at the end of this video with regards to setting the subgrade um, pairs or co-pairs that are required for that. But what you can see is that we've extended, because we're on the right hand side, we've got this now as a positive three um, all the way across, and so we've got an adjustment on that REB code. Let's now have a look at changing this custom variation with some of the other controls that we've got. In width control, we've got alignment or polyline. So really they're doing the same thing. They're controlling the horizontal position of this code. Now I do have an alignment already created, which is positioned just here in the cross section window. I'm going to cl be clicking by alignment and then we pick the alignment option. Now what will happen is it will ignore the cells that are written underneath. So whichever option you pick, you need to make sure that you pick the corresponding cell. If we picked polyline, you need to go and pick a polyline. Otherwise there's no option for it to use. So what we can immediately do is just click Add Update. And because we're on the left-hand side, the REB code has now been projected across at 5.26%. In regards to the other elevation controls that we have here, we can use a profile string. So you can see that I've actually got a profile string nominated um, in this particular cross-section window. If I go by profile string, I need to then go ahead and pick the profile string that I'm using and it will use the elevations of that profile string. So that profile string doesn't actually have to be positioned underneath the code. It can be wherever you want because ultimately the width control is being controlled by the alignment up here. So that profile string can be positioned over here somewhere and it will use its elevations. Let's see the result. So you can see it's now picked up the elevations of that profile string for us. The other options that we have in here are to be using uh, set slopes. So as soon as we use set slopes, it will look for values in these two cells. So again, similar to what we did with the width control here, the start value is the value that will be used at change 100 and the end value is the value that will be used at change 200. Let's see how this looks. Because we're halfway through that chainage range, we're obviously seeing that minus 3%. We can adjust this to be a positive 3% if we wish. You can see the update in the cross section window. The last one that we can pick is to set elevations. So this is where you can actually define the elevation at the start chainage and the end chainage. So in this instance, I'm going to make it slightly higher than the center line and pop in 246.1 and 246.1 here and these this will now be used as an elevation instead of a slope you can see there we've got 246.1 now the moment these changes will only be made wherever you have a sample line if you need extra sampling through this particular chainage range you can check the box which is add extra sections now I'm going to check that box on here and make the spacing every five which means that I get extra spacings now to have these sections applied you will need to click add update but also once you've added the variation you need to click recalculate Recalculate is important because it will add extra sections for you in the background once this variation has been completed. There are very similar custom variations that use the same technique. You need to click recalculate. If you find that you've opened up the project and you can't see your variation being applied, you can simply open up the design data form and click recalculate. Or you can come into tool space, click on threads and resample all. And that's a quick way of resampling all your strings and having all your design data reapplied in the project.
Let's now have a quick look at how you can add the subgrade. So just to uh, get the subgrade added into these particular areas, we'll head to the template that's being applied here at the moment, which is this template here in tool space and edit template. Because we've introduced a new code, the software now needs to know what to apply between the center line to the LCL code and the LCL code to the LSOR code. So we'll just do this once. To, to add the subgrade definition in, you go set subgrade, and if it's between the center line to the LCL code, you need to ensure that you've put C dot L dot, and then you pop in the next code, which is LCL, click apply and exit. Um, just for speed here, we're gonna be popping in 30 mil of asphalt to both sides. The reason why I'm clicking apply to both sides, even if that code combination doesn't exist on the right, if it ever does occur on the right hand side, it will apply this subgrade definition. We'll click OK and now we'll get our 30 mil of asphalt. So obviously what we could have done is added more layers in there because we're extending the right hand side, but it's a very quick process to now define that subgrade once we've introduced that new code.